The princess of pot is starting a business that won't get her arrested. Jody Emery and her husband Mark are best known for their cannabis advocacy, pleading guilty to a number of drug-related charges last year. While she's still an advocate, Emery says it's time to start a new venture. Talia Ricci explains. Tell me a little bit about what's happening here today. This is the soft opening of Jody's Joint Cafe. It's a coffee shop that's replacing Casa Coffee, which has been here for 56 years. I have hemp varnish on our wood counters, hemp wallpaper under the bar, hemp baked goods by a master chef Canada, and a lot of other elements to promote Canada's hemp in all its versatile forms. And talk a little bit about hemp. I mean, why did you want to focus this business around it? Well, I've been a cannabis activist for 15 years, and mostly on a civil liberties angle about the arrests and the injustice of the criminal law. But I'm also a huge advocate of cannabis hemp as an environmental resource. Canadians have grown hemp for a very long time and I think we have huge opportunities ahead. And you made a little joke earlier about how you can't get arrested here. That's Obviously, right. Obviously you have a history with being arrested and facing these charges. Why is this um, like the current endeavor that you're pursuing? Is this something that you think you can still express your passion without facing the risk of getting arrested? So when I got arrested last year for my brief dispensary model, we decided to accept a plea deal. So I'm on probation, I'm not doing anything illegal. I want to be legal. But I also love lattes, I love hemp, I love Toronto, and I'm super excited to have this community collaboration. And as we approach legalization, what are your hopes in terms of how this business could possibly grow? When I think of legalization, I think of Amsterdam, where adults can go to a coffee shop, get a good latte, some cannabis, sit and smoke it, maybe order some food. It's totally normalized and civilized. That's what I hope Canada will have to offer, but each province has different rules. In Ontario, there won't be any private retail sales, but we do need places for people to consume legal government-sold cannabis. If they can't smoke in their apartments and they can't smoke on the street, they should have coffee shops and lounges to be able to consume safely. And even today, people are going to get arrested for cannabis, and I'm still passionate about that activism. But as a young female entrepreneur with a lot of people getting into an industry I helped create, I want to find a little place and if I can't legally run pot businesses because of my conditions and the laws prohibit it, at least I can sell coffee because that's not illegal. <laughs>